So you know I've been trying to edit these videos, but to be honest, there's so much work that comes into editing videos that I kind of just gave up on it. So I'm sorry for not putting too much effort into this, but hopefully the information that I'm giving you all is um, enough. This is Luis again with some Photoshop tutorials. Today I'm going to be drawing some more Death March to the Unparalleled World, another Isekai show. And I got three pages that I gotta work on today actually. I gotta put the other two. So we got this one and uh, just a tiny little redraw right here. And then we got this other one which just a tiny little redraw right here. And, um, so what I did is um, I actually got a little chastise because I added some unsharpened mask. And so this time I I just went ahead and leveled the, the image a little bit more did a duplicate layer for this area and I added another layer for the bubbles and I'm just going ahead and putting some white paint on all the Japanese characters and all the kanji and hiragana and all that stuff and I like to do this just so that I can visualize the lines better it just helps me know where to where to put the lines how thick to do them how just you know just just makes it a little bit easier for me and I feel like there's two ways to do it or I mean the best way that I like to do it with is um, I have one layer for the for the blacks that's on top and then you have another layer for the whites or you just put it on the raw layer on the on the actual picture and then you have the pattern right because everything there's always a pattern somewhere some sort of tone some sort of um, um, just effect and I put that one under the black layer so what I mean by that is and I'll show you in a minute right now because there's a little bit of work we're gonna have to do on this one so let's see so we got here for example this girl's um, clothing and I'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer for black lines just do a black with about let's go with 40, 59, 49 of hardness and one pixel of thickness so what I like to do is first of all just start drawing where the lines are gonna be at it's kind of like imagine that this girl has a like a ribbon right there, like a belt type on her clothes. So we just kind of like make it that way. I'm doing this all by mouse. I don't have a tablet. I thought about it, but I then forgot about it. And uh, I just never bought one. And I, it's mouse is usually good enough for this. Unless you're planning on going whole full on pro. So I kind of like take and pick different different arts uh, portions now here I could go with a black but if I add a black it's just gonna look way too different you know so what I do is I pick the darkest uh, gray that I can find on this line and I just kinda like add a couple of lines here and there kinda to match it it's not gonna look perfect ever but at least I can hide it and the cool thing is that we will be or the typesetter will be adding some more some more um, some text in it so it won't be as visible we're just trying to divert the viewers eyes and everything sometimes I even add a little bit more color somewhere around so that I can kind of hide the, 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 the portion that I redrew and always as always just use your tools. I'm using a uh, eraser tool right here with really low hardness so that I can just make this less sharp and less noticeable and we just keep on going. Now the other thing that you can do when you have this huge line is pull up the almighty pen tool and what I do is I just kinda like reshape the hair as to how much it's gonna be. So the way let me let me let me backtrack really quick actually. So the way that I do it is I press click here and then I click on the other edge and then I press on 
a point right here, a vector point or a shaping point, whatever it's called. And I hold down the control key, so you see the difference from a um, pen thing. I get like a little mouse clicking, and then while holding the, the the control key and just dragging, I can move this from a shape to a shape. So I'm gonna put it like around here so that I can make this kind of like flow. Then oh, I need to make this up a little, so I can just add another one, and then I can just drag and make the shape better. What I want this to be is uh, the center so that it can just look as good as I can make it look. I'm gonna put down this to a 1 and we're gonna use this dark one. Okay, so now this is my work path. If I click outside it's gonna disappear. I can create multiple if I like but I'm just gonna use this one because it's gonna make a whole video about just this thing. Alright, this one what it's gonna do is gonna create a selection based on where you put this. So if I click on this, boom, we have a selection. We don't want that. This one will go ahead and use the pen tool or the pencil tool, whichever I have selected, with whatever thickness and settings I have right here, hardness, size, and color, and it'll go ahead and make boom a line right there. Sometimes it won't look as good because I'm using like a really thin one, but it can give you a good start then maybe you do a different shade right here something a little bit darker like this one and then you pass it again and since again we have this one on a separate layer we can modify it up a little bit make it look a little bit more natural maybe use the eraser tool change the opacity and just like erase some of it so it doesn't look as sharp as dark and you can kind of like see that it's looking better right there uh, if you want to just add a little bit more we can add some some of this color maybe and just add a little bit more right there again this is all with the hand just the mouse click I don't know if y'all can hit my my clicking right there and I'm gonna use this one, it's a little bit lighter. Just adding some buttons again. You, it depends on how perfect you want to make it. This is usually pretty good, but if you want to get like a professional one, then uh, you can just make it more precise. I, I could probably make it look better than what it is if I had a tablet, probably. It's a little bit more precise, you know, it's usually more. Uh, you have better control when you have. Uh, certain parts of your hand kind of like um, added in different portions of where you're doing the thing but it really depends on what you will need this is all I need right now all right. just a little bit right here So, and we just do the same thing for everywhere. Oh, so this is part of the often uh, in Japanese. So I'll go ahead and delete this part. Okay. And this girl just has a very fancy dress, so it just makes it really annoying. So I'm just gonna skip it for now. And. Lulu right here from the char the character's name has like a little just I don't know like a jacket or something anyways um, then this is kinda like her jacket thing just putting on top just gonna add a couple of lines here One thing I think I didn't mention is when you do Control Z back and forth, you're gonna get before and after, before and after. If we look at the history, it's just gonna go from here to here. So if I wanna go back, you have to do Control Z and then Alt, Control Alt Z like Zebra, and then you can keep going going back on on your history. Um, you know, shortcuts, Photoshop. I feel like the more familiar you get with the shortcuts, the better you will be at this. some of this ok 
Okay, kind of like a little line right there. That should do. And again, so you, you gotta start um, kind of like little by little, because if you just get overwhelmed by the by the redraw, you are never gonna finish. So I like to start with little parts, just like starting start adding the the lines for everywhere so that I can have an idea on what's gonna need more work what's gonna need more more detail and everything like right here I'm just adding the lines where I think they should go and I probably I'm not doing it perfect but you know I'm not getting paid for this, this is just for fun so for the funsies so just adding the lines actually here will be a perfect opportunity to use the pen tool so if we look at this from the raw portion, um, it looks like her dress kind of has this thing right here, like a like a belt maybe, I don't know. And then you have this thing right here. So uh, let's take a look and see some of the source. Um, we can actually look at other pictures and see kind of like her dress originally is and draw it in accordance and let's see let's go ahead and zoom this up a little bit, I hate this viewer but it's what I got, yeah it's like a super fancy dress Um, I don't see anything right there nope I could probably go back to the, actually I have the chapter right here so let's take a quick look at the other Ross yeah so she has like a like a thing, it looks like a scroll, that's a really weird dress, but whatever. Um, I wish they had a better shot of her dress. Yeah, so it's like right here. Okay, so um, what I can do about that is just kind of like imagine. So uh, there's going to be like a line here and another line right there, kind of like shifting. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe make a line right here and it looks like it goes from here to right there right so we're gonna make the end right there all right that should be good uh, we're just gonna go ahead and all right so this one I didn't think about it so what you do is you make a shape of whatever you want it and then whatever the four color the foreground color is is gonna fill it as the shape so if I by any chance want to make a very specific thin line like I don't know like right here I can uh, you gotta make it so that if you finish right here that is gonna fill it from here to here so let me show you like that if you, that's what you want that's totally cool but if you wanna make it like for sure close and make sure it's all like that you can feel it like that so it, it it's another option that's how I used to do lines but now just for the sake of making it faster and, and releasing more chapters instead of focusing so much so much precision I kinda just um, oh, don't really bother if I really feel like if I don't do it it's gonna look just completely horrendous I I take the extra minute it didn't really take that long did it so heck yeah alright that's good uh, as you can see I'm still using the the, the, the Japanese text it, it sometimes it's good to redraw with the Japanese text right there the problem is that this part right here is going to be covered so I'm just going to have to imagine maybe something like that and then if we remove that we got a line right there let's go ahead and Like right there, make it a little bit smoother. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this right here. It's actually gonna rem lower the opacity because it's just a little too sharp. Yeah, that's better. <coughs> okay, keep on going. This maybe this goes all the way right here. This maybe goes like around there. 
on so I gotta imagine a lot of this to be honest there's really not much you can do if you don't have the raw so you can like imagine it the main thing is to again make the reader think that the text was never there and sometimes you have to go as far as redrawing a whole hand and you gotta use a guide of course somewhere right so you can like look at other pictures from other places different sources and this Japanese character is just taking way too much space so just it's hiding way too much of the artwork but I can kinda imagine there's a line going this way kinda like maybe falling right here so you can just add this like right there and then this one maybe connects it connects to it and oops did I move it? nope ok good when you press the the V key, big for Victor, it um, changes so that you can move the layer from place to place, and I don't want to do that. Okay, well, alrighty. So we pretty much got down what we needed. Some of the um, some of the lines, some of them, because we didn't really finish all of them, but it's fairly good enough to kind of like keep going actually I'm gonna go ahead and do some cloning tool okay alright so what we're gonna do now is we gotta fill the pattern so as you can see there is a lot of uh, just patterns everywhere and what we're gonna do is so we got a couple of options we can either take a pattern that's already been done and we just put it on top or we can just clone from this their surroundings uh, I'm gonna okay look at this actually this is a perfect example right here we have a lot of pattern what I mean by that is there's just a full full source so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this I'm gonna copy right here not on the layer of course I'm gonna put it on like a different layer I put it just right here. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start using the eraser tool. I'm gonna use the hardened size like to 100%. And I'm gonna delete the parts that I don't want, which are I don't want anything that has lines, of course. So I'm just gonna delete all of that. I don't need any of this to make sure that I don't have anything. Okay. And now I'm just gonna clone this and make it bigger. This is not the best pattern that we got, but uh, we can make it work. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make it bigger so what I'm doing is I'm just creating a source and this is actually a trick that I used to use a lot uh, when I was cleaning pages like Negima, Mahos and say Negima uh, and, and that is just making making a source and then using that as a as a, as a base so probably not gonna be like super perfect but the pattern from the outside looks pretty good and this will probably be good enough for a lot of stuff and we can probably reuse this for different other sources that we might need okay so from here we're just gonna copy this I'll make a new layer uh, pattern skirt for something now this is under the black lines and then I'm gonna put it like right here let's put it like right there there we go and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna so I paste it there so that I can it can be locked in but I did control Z so that it wouldn't you know um, be stuck there and now I'm just gonna start coloring in now as you can see this particular pattern that I'm using it's lighter than the original you can definitely tell from here but that will not be a problem and I will show you why in a minute let me just finish so okay I finished never mind um, so it's pretty much I cover everything that I think I might need 
<coughs> now this is the only pattern in this layer that we have to worry about which is pretty nice so what we're gonna do is do, let's select the pattern oh the layer I mean control L and we're gonna level it a little bit we're gonna make it a lot darker and I think that pretty much does it maybe lower a little bit the output level not too much nope right there there we go so you can either level the layer or you can just burn it and whatever you use um, it it really doesn't matter you just have to you just have to be consistent you know uh, remember what the what the changes were I'll make another another um, another layer for this one and I'm actually gonna just go ahead and fill all of this in right here I need more patterns so I'm gonna go to the source copy that um, I need a little bit more source right just trying to match the squares with each one if you're wondering alright about right there and you just finish up okay and now I just have to level this layer so that it can match the patterns that are surrounding there's a trick actually if you use I want to use the same um, the same settings for leveling I can do control shift L I think or maybe control alt L there we go control alt L for Lima it'll go ahead and pull up the previous settings for leveling that you used and there we go that's what we need that's what we want merge these two pattern skirt uh, we are pretty much good right there we gotta put some pattern right here but we got enough source so we don't have to be using that trick anymore uh, yep right there that looks good just try to match the pattern Alrighty, uh, now here we need to just add some of this um, a robe I like right here just to cover the white that we had to delete. Now we're gonna use the source again and add some more pattern on this this elf girl um, her hair. There's like a little shade. Actually, not for this one, just like right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add this one just add a little bit right there this is very light so we don't have to go too crazy but we do wanna make it look nice so. just like There we go. Just right there. Unhide the layer. This is a little too dark, so we're gonna instead of going down, we're gonna go up. Uh, then lower the. This is gonna make the layer lighter. The more you add this, it's gonna become white. The more you add that, it's gonna become black. So we're gonna make it a little bit lighter. And um, actually, a lot lighter. Let's look at preview. Um, right there that should be good okay pretty much it we can actually use the the dodge tool always make sure it's in hardness 0% uh, exposure like 3 uh, and I'm gonna do mid tones for this one and I'll make another video regarding this but this just helps um, make the layers and the pattern a lot lighter than what they need to just to give it like a little shade right there and that should be pretty much it for this one the, um, 
there should be there probably is a little more details that I could try to add for the girl's um, skirt and lines and I could probably add that. Uh, let's see if we can add some more. I mean, it's a very, very fancy like. Um, just dress or you know, like a little princess, you know. But we can. We don't have to go that deep again. It just depends on how much you care. Not that I don't care, it's just, it's really not necessary because these little lines, these little details are going to be covered by text, particularly this area. So I'm really not worried. The main thing that I was more concerned about, I guess you could say, is um, the, um, the pattern right here. I'm actually just going to delete that and, and um, change the opacity right there to 100 it's hard and zero I'm just gonna erase that that actually looks better and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it I think we, we pretty much got it all um, I mean I'll check with the translator and see what he says um, this one is just the bubbles this is just the blacks the pattern and all right and as always this is RGB so make sure you change this to grayscale don't flatten and save that too in case your computer loses power and then you are screwed okay um, I'm gonna call it quits for this video not to make it too long but thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time